Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are into the co-main event of the evening. A pro middleweight belt is here. Oh yeah, time to really light things up. Introducing first, Slammin' Sam Dobb. Sam Dobb, now if we're talking about physical specimens, I think Sam Dobb is gonna be up there. <laughs> There's not too many people who can rock a pair of Speedos and away and go, you know what, yeah, no one's gonna argue with him. No. <laughs> and especially we were talking earlier about earning your fight name, Slamming Sam. Uh-huh. In his debut, probably created the record for Australian MMA in terms of how many times you can pick someone up and dump them in one round. Yeah. Fighting out of Carlson Gracie team on the Gold Coast and also iFit Fight. Mate, that's uh, just an amazing piece. In terms of amateur record, he had a three and one. He's jumped into the pros and gone one and one as well. But uh, just an amazing specimen. And he's really increased his fight IQ and striking ability. Prior to that, he just had an absolute judo background in terms of picking up and throwing. And uh, he's really added to that now, and you can see why he's the full package. Yeah, I saw him out the back, and he's absolutely ripped. He's huge. And a massive following. You know, a big uh, rugby union background. Yep. Everyone just loves Sam Dobb. Here he comes. And the other part I mentioned before, so he's a judo black belt. But not, not to mention that, he was also an amateur XFC light heavyweight title holder as well. So. He's cut down a lot of weight to become this massive man mountain. Yeah, I really think when you look at the uh, the professional ranks in Australian MMA, Sam Dobb is definitely a guy that can go the whole way. He's got that that aggression that'll suit the UFC. Yeah, you know, I agree. too many people make the UFC and they kind of sit back, you know, because they're too afraid to go out and make a statement. Sam Dobb would be the sort of person that would run out there and pick somebody up and throw him over his head. Yeah. I think for Sam, the reason you know, you're not being able to throw people over the fight cage, he's kind of one of those people who those rules are made for. <laughs> but he's just so physically strong. And uh, yeah, I'm just really interested to see what he brings to the package tonight. He's getting his final instructions, Peter Hickmont giving him the rub down. A very own UFC coach. And it just goes to show how good quality referees we have in Australia as well, and also lucky to have Matt Timoney in Queensland. And his opponent! Give it up for Taipari Ricky Hanna! And now we have the peacemaker making his walk to the cage. He's had a little bit of time off with his last fight being in 2013. I really want to see what skills he's been working on since that time. Fighting out yeah. of Gamebred Academy, I'm going to throw it over to you, Jamie. What can we expect out of the peacemaker? Look, I think he's going to bring a really strong wrestling game. I think he's going to try and out-wrestle Sam. Which would be good to see, see if he can actually get a takedown on him, throw him around the cage a bit. Yeah, and, and Ricky Hanna, we're talking about a guy that hasn't fought in two, since 2013, but to tell you what, the performances he was putting in, in 2013, was phenomenal. He was ahead of his time. Yeah. You know, you know, eight years ago, we weren't seeing the types of techniques that we're seeing now. He was a phenomenal fighter, showing a tremendous amount of skill back then. Yeah, and going from his base uh, fighting combat style, is basically karate, so we're going to be seeing some really good leg dexterity and being able to throw kicks up from everywhere. I'm kind of going to be expecting the, uh, the odd spinning back kick if uh, Sam starts crushing him against the cage. Yeah. And maybe even potentially a question mark kick. Because Sam is known to keep his hands down a little bit when he gets comfortable, so let's see if he's going to get a bit of a surprise in that one. Outside of that though, Sam Dobb has not taken his eyes off his opponent since he walked out. Both of these dudes are jacked. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, fight number 13 and your co-main event. Pro middleweight division belt. Three 
by five minute rounds. Introducing first, in the blue corner, weighing in at 82.7 kilos, with a pro record, three wins, one loss, fighting out of Carlson Gracie Jiu Jitsu, slamming Sam Dog. And his opponent in the red corner, he weighed in at 84.2 kilograms. Holding a pro record of three wins and three defeats. He's fighting out a game out Academy! Give it up for Ty Buddy! The Peacemaker! Ricky Hanna! The crowd has gone crazy. Ricky Hanna is huge. He is a beast. Look at the size of the bloke. So for those at home, they just had to tape up his pants because he had pockets. We've had people walk in the cage, we've got the box, there's yep. plenty of things can yep. go. Easy fix. Oh, oh beautiful. Nice sneaky uppercut there. These boys are almost clones of each other. Oh, big leg kick. Oh my him. god, we need to reinforce the cage for this fight. Yeah. Oh, oh he doesn't want to stand there. He took some big shots then, just took him. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to stand too many more of those. Oh, 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 oh it is from Sam Dog. Oh. What a finish. Absolute wrecking ball, Sam Dobb. So much power in those hands. Wow. Actually, so much power in the whole bloody body, but yeah. he's certainly putting it through, channeling it through his hands. Huge finish. Knocks him out, standing on his feet. Sam jumping there, making sure he's okay. We watch the There's replay the here. Both boys are having great success. Oh. That uppercut right there from Ricky Hanna. Head movement changes his angles. Yeah, good feints there by Sam. He's hammering the body there. How is there's a bigger guy than Sam in the cage right now? Bloody hell. That bloke was huge. What are they feeding them at Carlson Gracie Jiu-Jitsu? Sam is just relentless, isn't he? Yeah. It was the knees, the body shots. It just didn't give him a chance to recover. Yep. It's that pure intensity that you get from Sam. Oh, oh right on the, the chin, pressure. that one oh. hurt. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. 31 seconds into round number one. Your winner by KO, slamming Sam Dobbs in the blue corner. Again, what a crazy fight. I'm, just, I'm still lost for words. That was just... <laughs> he was a smaller bloke up. as well. Yeah, when I saw him clenched up, I'm like, wow. That's, that's, Sam actually was smaller. i tell you what. I'm not sure who's finishing them. Sam Dobb at middleweight. What an absolute savage. Beast. Okay, what uh, Brogan Anderson, our middleweight champion, that'll definitely get his attention. Dobby, real quick before I let you go and celebrate with your supporters and your team. 
Let's look down that barrel right there. Came out hot to start. Was there a consideration to just go slow? Um, first of all, I want to give all the glory to God for this victory. Amen. This victory is through Him. I can do all things to Christ. It gives me strength. Amen. Um, yeah, I wanted to come out hard. Um, I knew he's been in the game a long time, so I really just wanted to put the pressure onto him and, uh, yeah, just come out hard and see what would happen from there. Talk to me about training and preparation for this one. Was there anything in particular you were working on? Um, we're always getting better day by day. You know, we're always trying to evolve and learn more and just improve all, all around, and that's what we're doing. This is only a stepping stone in my career. Every day we're getting better and better with my coaches and the training that we're doing, and the sky's the limit. So when it comes to... What's Slam and Sam Dobb looking at in 2022? Um, I just want to get in as many fights as possible. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So whoever wants some, um, I'm ready to hey, go. There's some people probably watching there too. Yeah. Um, first off, I just want to say um, thank you to all of his fans that come out. And I got nothing but respect for all of you guys and everything that he's done. He's a great opponent, and for him to come in and do a fight camp after being out of the game for so long, you know, hat off to him, good on him. And I just want to thank all the boys, everyone that's here watching as well and supporting, and all the boys at home that couldn't make it, uh, stuck down in Canberra. I love you guys, and we'll catch up soon. Dobby, I'll let you go and celebrate with your friends and family. For Slam and Sam Dobb, one more time.